First, I just want to say it's an honor to be here. Um, uh, this is where it started at. Um, I was just sharing with the, the track team earlier today that, um, like you said, it, it was a last minute thing coming here, which was crazy because the, the story is, um, I was dating this girl in high school and um, I asked her friend's <laughs> mom as a joke, could you give me a ride to Kansas? And she, her mom came in town to visit or something, and she was like, um, she was like, sure, you know, you need to pack your things in a few hours because I'm going to leave. So I went home and I grabbed my football bag, um, I grabbed a radio and some clothes, and I jumped in a car with a, a stranger who I, I didn't even know the lady, you know. So, you know, this is back then, there wasn't no GPS or anything, so we jump on the road. I have a prepaid cell phone. Uh, obviously, it only works in the city limits. And um, we're driving hours and hours and hours. And I'm looking out the window, knowing I got a prepaid phone, still seeing if it's going to work, right? I get to crying. I'm looking out the window, so I won't, you know, uh, so she won't see me crying. Because all I see is land. I don't see <laughs> nothing else. I just see land, land, land. <laughs> So, you know, I'm trying to man up, but I'm, I'm crying. I'm like, what did I just do? You know, I can't believe it. You know, so we get here, and this lady, uh, she uh, walks me to class. I mean, not to class, to, um, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the units. And we're, we're, we're talking. She, like I told them earlier, she gives me a cooler with some Vienna sausage. And I don't even think I had Vienna sausage since Barton, I don't think. But they were some of the best food I ever had back then. So. <laughs> I had some Vienna sausages and a couple of Debbie cakes and, and she gave me a, a baby blanket, that's all I had. And that was it, and my clothes and the radio. So um, she tells me goodbye and she says, you know, do your best and you know, she's proud of me making the decision. And I, I get in the dorms and it wasn't, I didn't make it past the first night before I stopped boohooing in that room by myself. And I mean, I was wrapped up in this baby blanket, boohoo crying to the point where like, I wanted to go home. I don't have no way home, but you know, I wanted to go home, you know. So Barton really, you know, you know, made me the man who I am today. Um, like I say, it, it was tough. I think I went a week. I, think, I don't even think I talked to my mom because I was upset that she didn't bring me to school like I seen some of the other kids' parents bringing them and they were helping them decorate the rooms and all this. So I was jealous. I'm like, geez, you know what I mean? So I didn't call my mom, let her know I made it, anything. I'm just, I'm gonna be a man, I'm gonna tough it out. You know, so Coach Brahma comes down. I, I don't know if I came to practice, he came to my room and said, hey guy, you might wanna call your mother, let her know you made it, she's worried about you. So I finally called my mom and I broke down and you know, you get out to your we talk to your mom and stuff and I was telling her, you know, I'm trying to be a man to do this or whatever. So, Make a long story short, man, that's how it started here. And I kid you not, man, I, I sat down and I made goals because, I mean, it wasn't much you could do here. You know, you get a ride in the town, you know, go to Walmart, that's about the most exciting that we had, you know. <laughs> I, I kid you not, I mean, I, I kid you not, that, I mean, that was it, you know. So um, other than that, man, it, it, it was tough, you know. But like I said, it made me the man who I am. You know, and once we started with the team, we had a, a huge group of um, talented athletes from all over the place. I've never met a Jamaican before. I've never made, met some from Trinidad, from the Bahamas, from Barbados, all these different people from different places, accents, it was all new to me. And it was a little intimidating. You know, we had, we actually had Olympians who were, yeah. Yeah, who were actually attending school here, competing, Olympians who already went to the Olympics. So it was just, you had to just fit in, you know, and you had to work hard, and the athletes here made you work hard. You know, you really didn't have a choice, you know. So, so my first year, it went well. Um, I want to say um, Coach Brahma took me to Nationals, USA Nationals. So I've never really ran a big track meet in my life, you know. So we get there, and I'm really shocked because it's like, the world record holders in the race, Maurice Green, uh, and a whole bunch of guys, like all the, all the greats, they're in the race, and I'm here with Coach Brahman. And we're just, we're just here from Barton County just doing our thing, you know, we just, you know, we're just cool in there. I remember I was on the track, and um, we were warming up, right, and it was, uh, it was uh, Marion Jones, and everybody knows Marion Jones, she's like the biggest star in like track and field. 
So I'm sitting here on the track doing my drills and stuff. And then she's like, hey, kid, move out the way. You know what I'm saying? And Coach Brown kind of looks at me, so I move out the way. You know, it's Marion Jones. So we were, we were really, I, at that time, I wasn't thinking, like, hey, I'm competing too. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, you know, you know, put some respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, uh, you know, so that was just one of the stories. And, and it was just one of the, the stories that coming from Barton, people knew and the professionals knew as well that uh, those kids from Barton County, you know, they mean business, you know. You know, we were about Barton proud, you know, on our jerseys, everywhere we went. We go to Texas Relays, the Division One schools, all the big time schools, they were afraid of us. You know, we always represented, you know, very well. You know, and, and, and like I said, Barton made me who I am, man. I'm just so grateful, you know, taking that trip, taking that chance, you know, to come here, you know, like you say, in the middle of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? But it was a, it was a blessing in disguise, you know, all this land out here, you know, and not having a lot, you know, to do to even get in trouble, you know, was a blessing also. You know, um, the community was great to us. Um, all my, I want to thank all my teachers for really um, helping me graduate. You know, I remember having a meeting with Coach Brahman and, you know, I wasn't the, the greatest student. You know, I always teeter tottered around the, you know, the, the C average, the, the, the two point average, I always teeter around there. And Coach Brahman talked to him, he said, oh, well, I want you to know that all the teachers here are, are, are good teachers, but you have to show effort. You know, you have to sit in front of class. You know, you have to um, get involved, answer. And he wasn't lying. You know, and all the teachers here were great, and they all helped me graduate. You know, and, and Doug, you know, he put many athletes, you know, in his hands. And he made sure we got everywhere, made sure we got to all the meets safe and sound. You know, and a lot of people don't understand when you have a bunch of 18-year-old rowdy kids screaming loud, going crazy, it can be a little reckless, you know. Um, and, but he made sure that, you know, he took care of us, you know. and. Just the whole staff in general, you know, really took care of us. And, you know, I want the kids to know and all the students and the staff to know Barton County means something. You know, Barton County builds champions. And I told them that, you know, it's an honor to be in front of them because I know these guys are going to be the next Olympians. You know, these guys are going to be the next world champion. These guys are going to break my records and, and go on and make history. You know, it's going to be beautiful to see. You know, and like the coach said, the, the close niche of Barton County, my probably the, the five people I talk to the most um, are all from Barton County, you know, um, some Olympians, some not, you know, and some of my friends were upset because I didn't invite them here, but I didn't think no one wanted to come back to Barton, you know, so they're like, man, you should have told you I would have came back, but it's something about Barton, you know, people will come back, you know, because everyone started here and everyone became a man here, a lot of, and women here, you know, so the close niche, the family, the love, the strength, the self-discipline you have to have here, um, all the late nights, um, all the times, all the silly games we had, you know, it was here. You know, this is where everything was, you know, created for me. You know, and it was a joy, you know, that Coach Brahma recruited me, you know. Um, and he, he recruited me, talked to my parents, and like I told them earlier, he told me, basically, he told me, he showed me um, a couple championship rings that they won here, and he basically told me, you know, you can ride with us and get the champions, or you can get rolled over, you know, run with the rest of the group. So I chose to be a champion, you know, and come here and win. Uh, two national uh, uh, championships, and, um, and it was a great feeling, you know, that team, feeling that team spirit, it was great, you know, and um, like I was telling these guys earlier, when you guys graduate here and you, you attend a different university, you're not going to get the same feeling, you're not going to get this family feeling, you might not even get the, the basketball feeling, I didn't get the same feeling at University of Arkansas, you know, it's big, the campus is spread out, the dorms are here, or people have their own apartments and, you know, their own agenda, but here, it's family. You know, and you got each other's back and everyone sticks together. You know, and I've been knowing this man since I was 18 years of age. And um, I'm 35 now, and he hasn't changed one bit. You know, um, he's still there. He still has a great heart. You know, some of you guys may be training with him um, here soon, maybe. If you want to, if you want to come to Florida and train, you know, it's nice. You know, uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's been great, man. I'm just glad that you guys have me back, man. And um, it's an honor. Um, uh, this is something that can't no one take from you. Um, you know, everyone's not a Hall of Famer. You know, um, I seen um, something on Instagram recently, and it showed um, it showed two basketball players, and it said, "Would you rather be a good player with a bunch of champions, or a great player in the Hall of Fame without any champions, without any championships?" And I was thinking, man, everyone can't be a Hall of Famer. You know, and you can be lucky and win a championship, but you know, it's an honor to to be a Hall of Famer here. You know, and um, 
If you guys ever need anything from me, man, I'm here, man. I just appreciate all the support over the years. I appreciate all the, the tweets I've received. I appreciate everything that I received from you guys. And um, to the track team, the men's and women, you know, hard work, self-discipline. You know, um, just understand you guys are going to be somebody. And, I mean, it's, and it's up to you guys. You know, make your family proud. Like I said, make your family proud. You all out here in the middle of nowhere and for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, man, um, you guys are going to go places, you know, and, um, and I just appreciate the staff putting this on, and I appreciate my family, and sorry about my son making all the noise, um, you know, and I want to dedicate this, um, this Hall of Fame to my grandmother. Um, she passed away uh, yesterday morning on my way here. Um, she, uh, she lives with me, so she's been living with me for about almost three years, three years now. And uh, she's been fighting a, a tough battle with uh, a lung disease. And uh, I know she would have wanted me to come on out anyway. You know, I got the news yesterday on the flight. Um, you know, and I want to dedicate that to her, you know. And uh, anyone who's uh, missing a family member, just know that they're still looking down on you. I lost my daughter a couple years ago as well. And, um, you know, um, they're still shining. You know, and if anyone's going through any tough times, you know, just stay strong. Um, like I said, I'm 35. I've been through all the ups and downs, and I'm still fighting. I'm going to run this year. I'm going to train this year and give it my best. And I'm going to try to do my best for you guys. Thank you.